Welcome back to Groovy for Beginners and uh, this video let's see variables and data types in Groovy. Also I want to introduce Visual Studio Code for uh, writing our Groovy scripts. Go to Google Visual Studio Code. Right, so if it is Windows, get it from here. Uh, if it is for MacBook, get it from here. The installation process is straightforward. Download, double click, and go through next, 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 and complete the installation of Visual Studio Code. After installing Visual Studio Code, when you guys open Visual Studio Code first time, it will come up with welcome file. I want to set up a workspace for our Groovy examples. What I did is I already created Groovy examples folder in our previous video. What you have to do is go to file, open and select the location of your directory where you want to keep all your Groovy scripts. It's also good to add some extensions for Groovy. Click on this extensions button. I have installed Code Groovy, uh, which is support for Groovy in Visual Studio Code. So install this. It will give some syntax highlighting, autocomplete and so on. After that, let's get started with creating a new Groovy script here. You could use the shortcut this button to create new file or you also can right click and add new files, new folders and so on. Give some meaningful name and uh, keep the extension .groovy. In Groovy, we can declare variables in different ways. This is one way of declaring variable in Groovy. Groovy is optionally typed. So when you declare variable, you don't have to mention. Otherwise, defining the type of variable is optional. So this is also valid. In this case, I'm explicitly saying the type of variable here is int. If I don't explicitly mention the variable type, Groovy will automatically infer the type based on the value we assign. Let me print this value. Let me open the terminal. Groovy. So obviously it has to print the value 10. Let me also show you the type of this variable. So I can call a method get class on this variable which displays my type. See that it says the type is java.lang. Integer, you guys know that Groovy is based out of Java. Okay, so sometimes we may not need to initialize. Sometimes what happens in our coding, I want to just declare the variable and later on I want to initialize its value. In such cases, declaring variable like this causes exception. Let me execute the code that it says no such property x even though I have this x declared because it's not initialized with any value that is causing the problem. In case you want to declare the variable but you don't want to initialize its value right now you can take help of def keyword. Now let's execute the code it will not throw any exception. So what's happening there, the variable x is declared. 
and by default it's assigned with null object. Next comes data types. This is about declaring variable. Now in programming languages when we build some logic we might need to use different types of data like integers, floats, list, map, right, strings, boolean values and uh, things like that. Groovy basically inherits most of the data types from Java. So in this video let's first focus on primitive data types. So different types of primitive data types like int, I'm sorry, int, float, double, I mean to say D, C, D, something like that. So these are basic primitive data types. In general, Java and Groovy, two data types are data types which are not objects. Uh, I would not like to talk more about class object here, but keep in mind they are all primitive data types. Along with primitive data types, Groovy also supports collections, class types, interface types and so on. We will see all of that in some other video. This video I want to just scope it to variables and data types. Let me also introduce how to use comments inside Groovy scripting. If you want to add any single line comment, it has to be double slashes. Okay, in case if you want to have multi line comment, it should be like this forward slash star followed by star and forward slash again. So any content we put between these two becomes multi line. That's all from this video. I will see you in next video. Thank you.